one of the strongest and most well characterized sex differences that we have in the biomedical sciences is in terms of heart disease, in which the onset of cardiovascular disease is about 10 years later for women than it is for men. And this seems to correspond with the onset of menopause, suggesting that lower estrogen may correspond with an increased risk for heart disease in women. Other examples um, that are, are quite well pronounced pertain to some of the events that occurred just before a heart attack. So coronary thrombosis uh, presents itself quite differently um, in men than in women. So in men you have the textbook rupture of a plaque. Um, it's a very fast, aggressive change in the, in the artery that's going to result in a reduction or no blood flow preceding a heart attack. And that really is the textbook case um, for coronary thrombosis. And it turns out that a majority of women present very differently. They present with a slower, more superficial plaque erosion. And in being slower, it often is missed or goes underdiagnosed. And so what was once considered the classic or normal case for a heart attack, we're really starting to understand is just the man's heart attack. Women are presenting differently. Heart disease is not the only manifestation of sex-based biology. One mechanism that, that clearly differs between men and women is inflammation, with, with females typically um, showing a much higher inflammatory response than men, which may underlie uh, heart disease. It also um, contributes to responses to infectious diseases, which is what I study in my laboratory. And data from my laboratory illustrate that females consistently mount much higher inflammatory immune responses, which can be very beneficial for clearing a viral infection, for example, but it can also be detrimental, contributing to the development of autoimmune disease, also contributing to what's referred to as immune-mediated pathology, in which our responses become too high and contribute to damage to tissue. So much of the work in my laboratory is trying to better understand the cost and benefits of these heightened inflammatory responses in females.